Now we will practice a writing activity. Read this passage. Then you will be asked to write one paragraph based on this passage. You may now read this passage to yourself as I read it aloud. The Contest. Young coal miners in the early 1900s. Fiddle. Raymond played the song, then lowered his fiddle. Clapping, his mama said, you're going to win that contest. Raymond grinned and replied, I want to make everyone in Logan County proud of me. A month earlier, he had won the county fiddling contest. Before that day, he played his winning song hundreds of times. The 1902 state filling contest was in three months, and he thought he would practice the song a hundred more times before then. After all, his intention was to win that contest too. He smiled and thought about the rest of his plan to win the grand prize, lessons from well-known fiddler Luke Lucas, and to eventually become a Fame, as famous as Luke. From the porch, Raymond could see his father and his brother Tom, who appeared exhausted as they trudged up the road. Their faces were black with dust from the coal mine. They waved and his father shouted, great fiddling. Raymond's mother called to Tom, a letter arrived for you. Tom dashed inside. He reappeared shortly and explained, Mr. Stickler, want me to start working for him in Huntington in two weeks. He'll teach me to be a mechanic. So now I won't have to work in a coal mine. Raymond smiled at Tom's joy, but he noticed the worried look on his father's face. He asked hesitantly, what's wrong, Pa? Raymond's, your brother's work is dangerous and he needs to leave the mine, but our family can't survive on my earnings alone, his father explained. I will ensure that you're given a job in the mine that isn't so dangerous, like removing pieces of rock from coal. If I work in the mine for hours a day, I can't practice my fiddling, Raymond said softly. His father mumbled, I'm sorry, son. Raymond, feeling sad, glanced at Tom. Don't despair, Tom reassured. After I get trained, I'll send money home and you can quit working. Keep practicing so you can win the state contest in 1903. Raymond smiled weakly at his brother, put the fiddle in the case and latched the lid. Next year, he whispered to himself. I will read the directions below. Please follow along. The contest is about a boy named Raymond who likes to play the fiddle. How was Raymond's life in 1902 different from your life today? Write one paragraph describing how Raymond's life is different from your life. Give reasons for your answer. Use your own ideas and ideas from the passage to help you. In your writing, be sure to write about the topic, plan your writing from beginning to end, use your own ideas and ideas from the passage, support your ideas, your answer with details, use complete sentences, and check your writing for grammar, capitalization, punctuation, and spelling. In the box below, describe how Raymond's life is different from your life today. Remember to use your own ideas and ideas from the passage to help you.